Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Haven Rock, my build a city challenge. Uh, last time we played with Portia and the Rose family with the triplets who all, well, the, one of them hates the other two, so that's fairly dramatic. Uh, but this time we're going to move on to the uh, Billings household with Freddie and Monica. We only just played them at the end of the last round, but they're first on the rotation around this, uh, this loop. So we'll hop in, meet their twins again and see how they're getting on. So it's the start of winter. Freddie's having a nice warm bath. And Monica is painting. How nice. Uh, and the twins, Mateo and Carlos, are currently... No, one's sleeping. Who's sleeping? Mateo's sleeping and Carlos is just being very peaceful, at least for the time being. So the plan for this round is, of course, to look after the twins, raise them over this rotation, uh, but also to keep improving at Freddie's shop business. Uh, keep improving Freddie's general store. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be room for... Oh, somebody needs an happy change. Oh, it's Mateo who's sleeping. Oh, and also Carlos. Guess what, Freddy? You're in. Um, potentially expanding. Maybe getting uh, a bigger business for Freddy. Uh, second business, potentially. Uh, I'm just going to see what we can do. He's been making excellent money. Uh, <laughs> Carlos disliking Mateo for crying all the other way around. <laughs> Hey, Monica. Why don't you bathe the other one? We'll feed a bottle to the baby he's holding. And already this round, <laughs> the bathroom and kitchen are dirty. There's bottles on the floor. It's a stressful environment. There's just no space to put the bottle. get Freddy some food and then we'll send him off to the shop. Uh, Monica will stay home and look after the twins. Luckily they've now both been fed so they should be a little calmer. So she can carry on with her painting and uh, make money that way. Oh here comes Leo stealing newspapers again. He just can't stop. <laughs> Hates newspapers. Okay let's send Freddy off out to the stall. Let's see how his day goes. So here's Freddy back at the general store. As a reminder, it is rank 5. It is currently worth 25,000 simoleons, which is pretty good. It needs 8 more custom loyalty stars to get to the next level, which will be a cash prize again. So we're going to open the business up, call his employees in as well. Let's try and have a hugely, hugely successful day at, uh, at the general store. Let's get everyone excited about buying a sofa. Oh, there's no sofas, an armchair, a counter, or an oven. They, they're all going to love it. Oscar's our first customer. Oscar and William, lovely. And of course we have Blake, who is the cashier. In case he's confused. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh yeah, we increased the prices last time to very expensive. Oh, a star straight away. So we're going to have to work a bit harder. Oh, and here comes uh, Jasmine from the uh, Asylum Elimination Challenge, or the Big Brother Challenge. Uh, so she's a potential to actually move into the town, but she's here today, shopping for a TV or a desk. Oh, another star, amazing. And uh, Freddy's best friend, Jace. They are best friends in the town. Oh, that's good. William's bought one thing, but he's looking at the next. Always impressive. And we have Carson. Who in the next episode for him? Oh, we'll next see him, sorry, in William's episode when he moves in and they get married. That's going to be nice. He wants this mirror. Oh, thank you, Oscar. Oh, <laughs> Freddy is not feeling Jasmine. Not sure what's wrong with him. Oh, rug sold, excellent. Here we go, Blake, you get to work. We'll earn your money. Carson's buying one thing. Jace is buying another. This is good with the increased prices. There's a bit of a slowdown in in sales, so the stocking issue isn't quite as bad as it was last time. <laughs> not quite as frantic. Oh, Carson. No, not Carson. Looks like Carson. Mikey is uh, also here. Ah, too expensive for William. Let's show William that item. A different chair. Dazzle some more customers, get some more sales going. So just five more needed now to get to the next level. That's pretty good, Freddy. Yes, sell Syrian oven. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, Carson. Is that another mirror, Carson? Let's try dazzling William. He really wants that chair. It'll go very nicely in his house. Oh, he's feeling it. Might even buy it. Excellent, William. Well done. Good choice. Let's get Mikey involved in this television. Bit of restocking. Oh no, Carson. You just lose a star because you're standing there looking at the mirror. Oh, she's not feeling that painting. That's a shame. Oh, you lose a star. It must be awkward hearing all his sales pitches in this tiny room. Everyone can hear exactly what he's saying. Oh, but Conrad is excited about a rug. Oh, excellent. Jesse's bought an oven. We should give Blake a break. Just two more stars and we can get the next level. Come on, Freddy. <laughs> Sell to Jace. He'll be excited. Try dazzling Conrad again. There's no space in here, Carson. That's just the truth. Okay, well that's probably enough for today. Let's get everyone to buy, pay for what they've bought, and head home. Can't play kicky bag right there, Oscar. It's right in the way. I oh, don't play catch. Ring up the customers. <laughs> okay, that is all the customers rung up. Ended with a profit of 475 simoleons, which is which is okay. So I'm afraid at work. Monica can paint, and we'll let her do some artwork for the time being. Quite like the Monica wants to see snow. That's very sweet. It's um, still pretty early in the season. It may not get as snowy just yet, uh, but hopefully it will. I think you should have a good time making snow angels. Uh, let's see who's calling. Oh, it's Zoe. Lovely. So Zoe and Eloise are Monica's best friends. Oh, she is in love with Leo. That's fun. <laughs> but she has three bolts with uh, with Freddy. So that's still the kind of the leading relationship. Oh, she's also very, very good friends with Portia. And uh, with Hikari. Very nice. She still, still hasn't really made friends with Jace at all. <laughs> they don't really know each other. Let's get her to top, top up her energy a little bit. Before there are any screaming babies. And then Freddy will be home soon. Did Jace kick over that rubbish bin? Has Jace been the problem all along? I might as well pull some weeds, Monica. Oh, there's Harrison from the Asylum Challenge. And Freddy's home, but exhausted. So we'll let him go straight to bed. Leave Monica in charge. Oh, no time to relax, Monica. Although Matteo is sleeping, he needs his nappy changed. Well, let's leave him to it. Pay the bills, see how long they sleep. <laughs> In smelling nappies, that's probably not great, is it? Ah, oh, there we go. Simultaneous screaming. And we'll just take them one at a time. We'll start with Mateo. We'll move on to Carlos, it'll be fine. A little cuddle. We'll do the same for Carlos. Ah, there we go. Resolved. So I locked in for Monica that she wants to throw a party. I still think that'd be pretty good to do. Uh, if they can have a little, little get together with their friends. Maybe they get married. That could be a good a good option for them. Then one's a pleasure, and one's a romance sim. They don't have any want to just at the moment, and they've got the twins to think about. So it might not be high on their list for the time being. We'll see. Oh, there's a wolf in the flower beds. Lovely. Oh, Fletcher the wolf. That's a cool name. She also wants to be friends with Victoria, which is very sweet. I like Victoria a lot. Let's. Have a bubble bath and then she can head to sleep. And Freddy can take the next night waking. I actually can't wait to see how Freddy's very strong genetics mesh with Monica's much more delicate features. It's going to be an interesting one. Okay, at 2 a.m., Freddy's up to do some cleaning and some. well, getting some fridge salmon to enjoy. He should have time for a bath. 
some point they could upgrade to a shower. That would make everything a lot quicker for them. But uh, this house has a bath, so that's what they're going to use. They're lucky it's got an extra room for the twins, although they'll be a bit cramped in there as they get older. Although I do think between Freddy and Monica, they are on, on track to make quite a bit of money, potentially. And he does always have the option of the loan that he could take out to build a bigger store. So we can have that uh, as a possible option. But for now, some chores, Freddy. You have to keep the house a bit nice. And then you can watch some TV. And you got a cleaning skill point from it, so it's not all bad. He has six total skill points. Uh, oh, but three badges. Silver in, in the cash register. Gold in sales and silver in restocking as well. Very good. Here we go. It looks like Mateo needs a fresh nappy. <laughs> <laughs> They're in sync. Oh, sorry, Freddy. You did fear changing a nappy. Nightmare for you. Oh, but now he rejects being rejected. He fears being rejected by Mateo. That's very sweet. Well, the house is nice with the one of them, with the two babies. There's not really much space for um, oh, the little toys, the dangle toys, things like that, which I would normally do. Because uh, they're cute. I'll just have to deal with their cots until they're a bit older. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Well, that's one way to have fun. Well, no baby chimes, so that's good. So a little bit late, but I think Freddy needs to head off to work. And uh, Monica's turn again with the twins. Okay, Freddy, I think this is the day. The day to get your next rank. Rank six. Which I think will make it the highest ranked business in town. I think that's important. I think we can do it. Well, here comes Crespin. Oh. Everyone likes Freddy. Good morning, Blake. Thank you for joining. It's going to be a good day. We're going to help out Mikey. And Amanda's making a beeline for the fancy chair, or the dining chair. Mikey wants a toy box. Ah, Crespin also confused. Let's help Crespin as well. Elwin. Also lost. This is great. Oh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, here we go. One more star. I think Elwyn could be our key. You're standing on the rug you were looking for. Fantastic, Freddy. I just had to say it. Rank six, and it is time for a cash prize. Oh, 10,000 simoleons. Very, very good. That is a hefty amount. We'll do the rest of today. We'll sell to the mayor. Porsche's here. And uh, yeah, we'll think about what to do with that kind of money, which is pretty, pretty decent. I mean, the other option is to build a house. I don't quite know why Armando's hearts are way off from his head. Probably just too many sims in one small space. Oh, we just can't stop getting stars today. Oh. <laughs> I'll trust Matthew. I'm going to sell to Tiffany to get her out of the way, because she's blocking uh, the entire route. There we go. And Jenny's looking for an oven. So I should probably restock first. We can find the oven, Jenny. You walked right past it, I think, three times. Restock. William is back looking at a chest of drawers. Need to help out Joe. He's looking for something I'm not sure we have. A jack in the box. We found it. It's fine. Yeah, no, we don't have that. Sorry, Joe. Devastating, I know. We're trapped in this island. So Ilya lost a star. She was getting very stressed by the price, I think. So we're going to help her out. Mm. Why don't we give her a deal? Offer it just at expensive. No longer at gouging. 
Nope, not going to even that. Okay, Joe gained a star. That's good. Harris wants to play. All your silent people coming out to shop at Freddy's is going to mess up my uh, <laughs> relationship counting. It's so easy right now because they only know they only know each other. But now they're going to know so many Sims. You have to dig through. Okay, Syria's bought an oven. Oh, and she likes Freddy a lot. She's going to spread the word about his reputation. Oh, she bought a rug, not an oven. <laughs> Well, that's a good bit of selling. We're going to close up now as it approaches five. Cash in the rest of the sales. And I think we need restocking for next time. We'll just send him home. He needs to go hang out with uh, Monica and the twins. Oh, I lost a star. Oh, end of the day. <laughs> star loss. Nightmare. Okay, everybody out, unless they're buying something. Oh, that's everybody. <laughs> Okay, time for Freddy to head home. It was a pretty good day. We made some serious cash. Oh, Monica wants to get to maximum arts enthusiasm. How far off is she? Oh, not far. She's got eight points. Why don't you serve some breakfast? Or some lunch, even. Let's have some. Let's do some grilled cheese. That'll be fine. Oh, no. Okay. We'll have to eat leftovers and then um, go out to the mini mart later on. Now I chat to Victoria. The want to be friends has gone away, but I think there was a good expression there that she wants to make more friends in town. She's pleasure, probably popularity as a secondary. Yeah. So yeah, more friends. That's all good. And then we can think about the party. I'll keep saying it until we run it. There should be a party this round. Okay, Monica's finished her painting. Let's find out what well, chance is the phone. Uh, what it's going to sell for. Hope not a lousy painting. Because she's scared of selling something for that. Oh, sorry, she's scared of selling a lousy painting. 107? That's not that bad. It's got to be pretty good. Ah, fantastic. A good painting. I'll take a bath. And once again, the twins are stinky but sleeping, so Monica's just going to ignore it until one of them screams. And Freddy's home, and he's hungry, so actually I'm going to send Monica out. It's her turn to leave the house, and unfortunately, Freddy, tag your it with the babies. Because Monica's going to go and see her best friend at the mini mart. Oh, fantastic. Another a day away for the twins' birthday. Maybe that's worth throwing a party for. That could work. And Freddy, one, pretty soon they're going to scream. Uh, but Monica's going to go and get some food. So it's all good. So we have Eloise looking very nice in her coat. Why don't we talk to her a bit first? Let's have a gossip. What's going on in town? <laughs> gossip about Leo. Fair enough. I mean, that's who she's she's uh, cheating with. He burned some food. Oh, yeah, that's the, the problem. <laughs> we'll buy some vegetables. We'll just clear her out. 500. Before Blake arrives to buy his own snacks. Oh, this mini is so tragic. <laughs> Oh, Eloise, it's such a good idea, but you've had no time. Oh, and there's Victoria. We'll all just stand around and wait. Don't worry, Eloise, it's fine. Oh, Blake and Victoria both got bored. But Mikey's here in his very fancy jacket. Well, Monica can head home. And then they can have some food in the house. While Monica's shopping, Freddy's just waiting for the inevitable. Oh, he's broken the TV. Well, I won't let him repair it just yet. <laughs> Not while he's alone in the house. Not having the kids taken into care if he's... Uh, if he electrocutes himself, which could happen. And there we go. Who's woken up first? It's Matteo. So he gets to go first. Once again... One baby done, second baby to do. And Monica's back with a basket of groceries. She, he's gonna move, he's just gotta... He's just gonna feed the baby, stress about where to put the bottle. And it'll be fine. Okay, so we'll let Monica cook. Make some tasty spaghetti, and Freddy's new attempt to repair the TV. Just a nice domestic scene. The twins are quiet if not sleeping. Freddy's repairing, Monica's cooking. It's very traditionalist. Oh, 
Come on, Freddy. Hit that with a screwdriver. You can't go wrong. Ah, oh, Monica. You burned it. <laughs> so she's not been totally successful. Will Freddy make it? He's done well so far. Oh my goodness, Freddy. Well done. Doesn't even have any mechanical skill points. He just repaired that whole TV. Without dying. Let Freddy have a second plate because he's hungry. Oh, he saw a wolf. Excellent. There's that wolf. There's Fletcher again. Oh, and they're going to move him on the sofa. Kind of meant to do it in bed, but, you know. That's auto woo. Okay, well, we can both sleep. They can certainly both give it a go. I think someone's going to have to get up in the night. I'll let Freddy have a bath first so he's not too too smelly. Uh, but we'll see how they get on. We'll see who gets the most rest. And there we go. It's 5am, which isn't too bad. And it's Monica's turn. Let's do Carlos first for a change. Whilst Freddy gets a bit more sleep. Well, Monica's also going to be on cleaning up duty. There's a few flies swarming around. Okay, Freddy, time to get up. There's some fresh pastry for you this morning. Maybe he needs a day off work. <laughs> so he's getting increasingly battered. But it's good because it means we can have the uh, birthday party today. And there's no risk of him missing it if he's out at work all day. So yeah, Monica's aspirations are a bit low. She's not doing very well. Now there's Freddy, to be fair. It's a bit of a struggling time. Write their diary about it, that's a good idea. Externalise the feelings. It's already 2pm, so I think we better throw a party. You're about to get your dream come true, Monica. I don't know how good it can be. Let's have a look at our friends. Should we invite Leo? Hard to know. Yeah. Probably we should. <laughs> Just for maximum excitement. We'll invite employee Blake. And uh, yeah, that's far too many sims for this lot as it is. So Victoria, Eloise, Portia, Blake, Hikari, Leo and Zoe. They should be absolutely fine together and nothing bad should happen. Oh, and it's excited to snow. Well, how exciting. So we should serve some food. Let's get some grilled cheese on the go. <laughs> this is uh, a far too many sims. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to cook. Oh, there we go. We've got just enough space to cook. Where are you going? and cuddle one of these babies. Oh, I see. Oh, the computer's about to revolt because it started to snow and there's a party. Oh, they're excited about the smell of uh, grilled cheese. Okay, it's time to put Mateo away. Change colour system. <laughs> well, it's a good time already, so that's pretty great. They're making do. That's the snows howl in. We should probably get us a, uh, a birthday cake. Get the rainbow one. Very classic. No? Why do you even have a burger alarm? There we go. Okay, so since Carlos is being fed, we're going to get uh, Monica to bring Mateo to the cake. Stop eating, Monica, there's no time. Gotta hit that 6pm deadline. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Too many grilled cheese. No, Freddy is very much not available. He's very busy. Oh, Leo and Zoe have. Oh no, Leo and Victoria. Just having a good time, it seems. Okay, we well, just hold on to that baby. And actually, you put Carlos in the crib. Oh, an impasse. Oh my goodness. Let me find my cursor. Right, bring Mateo. Baby on the floor. Get him to the cake. Oh, Leo and Victoria. How adorable. Of course. They are together. Here it is. Baby time. Everyone squidge in. It's going to be fine. <laughs> the entire town gathers. He's excited. I don't know if we'll get the cutscene actually. It's gone a bit weird. Doesn't want to age him up. Here we go. One baby. He's now a toddler. Let's have a look at him. This is Matteo. Oh, he's taken very strongly after uh, after Monica. How adorable. Okay, that's Matteo. Let's try and do the same thing with Carlos. Oh, he's exhausted. <laughs> oh, another party's a roof raiser. I don't even know where that baby's gone. And that's like a Carlos. Oh, he's also super cute and very much like Monica. I don't think I can see anything of Freddy and either of them. They are Monica, Monica's boys. Okay, I want you to try and put. Ignore that and try and put Mateo in the cots. Now, this Carlos is fine. There we go. Get Carlos in bed. We'll give him a makeover later on. Let him sleep first. Okay, let's lock in potty training. Always a good one. And the party is a roof raiser based on that excitement. And I think a lot of things were going on in this cluster of people that I will definitely have missed. I might see them in the edits when I was very focused on getting the babies to age up. So who knows what the uh, end results of this will be. But there's been no fallings out that I've seen. No intense drama. Just a lot of mess. Oh, I wouldn't go out there, of course. What have you gone to do? Eat snow. I've literally never even seen that. Delicious. Well, you can't freeze straight away, really, Carlos. Four seconds, they'll go home. Like I said, everyone to bed. Excellent. Roof Razor. It's a great party. See you all later. Monica's happy. Probably didn't see. There we go. Carlos, get back inside the house. Let's buy some items. Going to need a potty. Let's go for the classic. Just go outside for now. <laughs> Just get in the way. And Freddy, your first duty. You need to potty train Carlos. You're not that hungry. Oh dear. Okay, there's mess everywhere. It's fine. We will let Monica sleep. And Freddy can look after the house for a little bit. Let's eat some grilled cheese, Freddy. Keep your strength up. Oh, some party guests have decided to stick around. I'm sure, that's fine. <laughs> well, good job, Carlos. 
should probably get some toys. Now the fun game of where will all their toys fit. You go and play, Carlos. Oh, actually, we like his little dungaree outfit. He's aged up in two. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, okay. It all just went nasty. Let's give another full evening for Freddy. We've got to training Mateo. <laughs> They're putting Carlos to bed. Oh, hello, Hikari. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Oh, Hikari, I want to play with the baby. <laughs> That's very cute. Oh, I think actually looking a bit closer, just about to give him a little makeover. I think he's got Freddy's ears. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, we'll give him a shorter style than Carlos has. Let's buy him some clothes as well. Oh my goodness, Freddy's rolled the fear of having a baby. <laughs> it's finally happened. He's like, these two are quite enough. Okay, Monica, it's your turn. Oh, unfortunately, the twins are on opposite schedules right now. That's a nightmare. <laughs> Luckily, Carlos can hang out for a little bit while Monica has a bath. It's all about balance. So I'm going to get Freddy up a little bit early. He's, still, he's mostly filled up his sleep, um, but he needs to head off to the store, I think, today. Uh, just so they can keep their money nice and topped up in time for taxes. Oh, I said Monica's... <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> I mean, could she? <laughs> no, she's no talent badges. Sorry, Monica. I've uh, messed up. You just want to build a snowman. We'll try that again shortly. Well, that's one way to synchronise them. Oh, and these cots they can't climb out of? Okay. I'll send Freddy to the shop and Monica can tag in with the babies. Okay, second time is the charm. <laughs> Freddy's surveying Monica's work, thinking she's done quite a good job. We do want to open the shop up though, Freddy, if you don't mind. Jenny's our first customer today, straight to the oven. That's some mechanical skill for Freddy, very good. And the aim for today really is just to make some money. Uh, we're unlikely, I think, to get to the uh, next star level. We need 14 loyalty stars, so that's probably a couple of days away. But we can at least uh, make some cash, hopefully. Well, let's restock some things. Oh, here's Isabel. Oh no, we missed uh, we missed Jesse. Oh, he's back! <laughs> he gets the star again. Oh! I'd like to start working at the culinary career at fast food shift manager for me right now. Jesse, are you running an illegal fast food company in the trailer park? No. Thank you for the offer, though. We do want to sell to Jasmine. She comes in very sceptical. Ah. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, who do you want to set up on a date with uh, with Freddy? That sounds complicated. He doesn't want to go on a date, and he's a romance sim. Sure, while we're working, who do we get? I get a Pinson. Hi. She's also a romance sim. Who fears getting married to Freddy? It's probably not going to happen. We'll try and keep it respectful while it's also running a business. She might just have to close right now because this is too much and it's also gone. It's past five. Freddy's exhausted. So yeah, my twins just grew up to be toddlers. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, the end of the day as well. That's amazing. <laughs> oh well. It was a bold choice, a bold attempt. Okay, Monica, you are on for the rest of the day. Getting the posh train as soon as possible, I think, is going to be the key. <laughs> if we can do it. Um, 
Okay, while they are kind of okay, Monica can grab some sleep. I'll get another baby toy, so they've got something to do each. Okay, the twins are in a bit of need now, so let's get Monica up. That is enough sleep for you. Who do we have first? Carlos, how's Mateo? We'll just put Mateo in bed. And we'll attempt to potty train Carlos. Right, you can do it, Monica. It's okay. We can make it work. <laughs> Was that too much noise, Carlos? Or Mateo, even. Make sure we make him go back to sleep. Have a grilled cheese. And probably nap on the sofa. Oh, Zoe calling. That's nice. Uh, so with Freddy home, I'm going to have him eat. And then pretty much go straight to bed. He's, uh, he's struggling a little bit. This is a, a tougher time. We made a few smileings today, so that's pretty good. That's what we aim for. Just having Monica get whatever bits of sleep she can manage. Just sneaking them in. Oh, sorry, Freddy, you're going to have to let babies out of uh, <laughs> their cots. No, no, come back, Freddy, come back. Let them out. And then you can sleep, I promise. Oh, hang on, I'm going to break my promise immediately, Freddy. Whose bladders? Mateo. Grab that one child, do that, and then you can sleep, Freddy. I promise. This time. It's for real. A real promise this time. Okay, good news now. Monica, you can get up. And you get to feed Mateo. Oh, they were going to huggle. I interrupted it with my determination to be efficient. Freddy's having a bad time. His knees have suffered. Or the horror of a romance sim being a father to twins. Either or. No, no time for books. Only potty training. Oh. Oh, it's a nightmare keeping the uh, adults fun up on such tiny lots. And they've got to do a million chores for the house, for the babies. It's uh, definitely a challenge. It's good. So you've reached the last day of fall. Freddy is really suffering. <laughs> Just no fun. Oh, sorry, Monica. Baby time. Let Carlos out too. Party train, Carlos. And enjoy being on the treadmill. And Carlos is getting there with the potty training. I know, Freddy. Why don't you watch a movie or something? Watch a spooky werewolf movie. It's fine. You'll be okay. We'll give Carlos a bath as well once Monica's had some breakfast. And hopefully Freddy can recover a little bit of fun watching a movie. <laughs> Otherwise he's having a bad time. Now Monica's going to need to sleep, so Freddy's going to stay home from work today to mind the twins. Okay, that's probably about enough TV. Why don't you uh, get to know your boys? I'll help with your social. Oh no, Carlos, don't drink that bottle. It's going to go badly wrong. We've got bills, I think, for about three days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we should pay all of those. There is not much the repo man could take, but let's not risk it. <laughs> Baby fears back. Don't worry, Freddy. I think you're probably done. At least for babies in this household. You are a romance sim, so there's no way of knowing what the future holds. Sound of flies again. <laughs> yes, Freddy, you have to. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to have Freddy pay their taxes for this month, because it's quite a big amount. Okay, that should be the amount. Oh, you're having fun. Freddy, we've got to pay your tax. Straight to Porsche. And let's send that check. And then Monica, you can let Carlos out. 
Excellent. Someone's actually paid their taxes. Who would have thought I would remember? Oh, we best get some food for Freddy. Is he ill? <laughs> Why don't you serve some dinner? Uh, have some bass. No time to read. You've got to eat before you die. Monica, are you trying to kill Freddy? <laughs> hey, Carlos, doing well with the skills. Try and potty train while Freddy attempts to survive. Oh, near there. Oh, so close. Okay, so bills are paid. Tax is paid. The babies are doing pretty great. Freddy is just about surviving. <laughs> Despite his friend playing darts next to him. It's fine. And Monica's doing pretty great. They've got a lot of cash in, in their bank, which is pretty great as well. It's good for moving forwards, progressing. Hopefully something with the um oh, that xylophone. <laughs> with the shop. Again, not this round, it turns out. Time has run away. Uh, but I want to think about it. I want to think about what I want to do for um for Freddy's upgrade shop. And he's still not at level 10 with his business, so it's not quite got to completely cash it in stages just yet. Yeah, I don't want to go mad just yet. Sorry, Mateo. We're going to party train you and put you to bed. And then Monica will also sleep, and that may take. Oh, send Jace home as well. Goodbye, Jace. Oh, he's not ready for it. Too sleepy. Never mind. Uh, and that should take us to the end of winter and the start of spring for the Billings Diaz household. Um, they have done a pretty good rotation. Freddy did a great job with the shop. Monica's been mainly looking after the kids and keeping everyone alive. And Freddy has just about survived. He may have a toilet moment at some point soon. Oh, right now. Yep, okay, thank you, Freddy. <laughs> you got to look after yourself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this rotation and this episode of my Build a City Challenge. Next time we'll be moving on to uh, to William and to William and Carson's wedding. At long last, they'll be getting married and moving in and hopefully starting their family. So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>